At first I planned this video to be a grand station tutorial, but I missed the obvious problem. You see, I built the station, but it turned out to be too grand to fit in my normal video. Since I already built it, maybe I'll put a download for it on my Patreon. Now, here's the idea. Some of you suggest that I should build a larger station with a crossing bridge. So, hi, I'm Max, and today I'm gonna show you how to build a British-style train station. Now let's get right into it. Now, I hope you don't mind that I reused the old location here. So let me clear out the old station and everything. Get rid of that. Right, we will start with the platform layout. And it's going to be 9 blocks wide. And we're certainly going to make it longer this time. It will be 93 blocks long. And for the floor, we'll fill it up with stone. Give it a texture with some andesite. And next, we will make a fence. Placing on the deep slate pillars. Have the five blocks apart. And we'll have six pillars on each end of the platform. Place down the metal girders. And the fence itself will be two layers of spruce trapdoors. It is one side finished. Now onto the station building. I'll start the layer from five blocks away from the fence. And the building will be seven blocks wide. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll just make it a rectangle. I'll be replacing the floor with a strip to dark oak. And then we'll make a pillar with the cracked bean bricks. Four blocks tall, with three blocks gap. That will get us right in this corner. And now we do the same on the back. What? What the hell is this? Well, Future Max here. Don't really know what's happening with the replay mod, but you see, Dean Bricks is supposed to look like this. I do apologize if it can be confusing in some shot. I'll place more bricks on the side of the building here. Right, and now we're gonna make a window frame using limestones. And an ornate window. Just like that. And we will do the same window on almost all the front and back. But make sure to leave some area for the entrances. Add another layer of bricks on the sides. And on the front and back will be a limestone. Make an arch shape on the entrances. Now before we put on the roof, I'll divide the room in the building for a bit. We'll make it two rooms, the small and the large one. Now, we can do the roof. We can have it be a basic gable roof. And I'll be using a deep slate tiles. And we can start placing all the stairs from the frame. With the slabs on the top.
and the other side. Now we cross out the rest here with the bricks. And an upside down stairs on the overhang. And we'll make a stair here a bit of cobblestone. We decorate the side of the building with some girders and shaft. Perfect. And let's add a bit of chimneys on the roof so it doesn't look too boring. Okay, now let's finish out the inside. We'll place some lighting in here first. Then we'll close off the ceiling with the dark oak and the limestone slab. Looking good. And the same on the large room. Maybe I'll make it full beams running across. That should work. Also another beam running along the length of the building. Alright, we're now ready for the interior. Let's start in the large room with the ticket booth. This would be a reception counter. Divided over the brass bars and the signages. Now, behind the counter, we have a sort of storages. I made this one like a large shelf, maybe. And over here will be a telegraph desk. And of course, we're gonna need a seat. Right, there's our ticket booth. Now let's get some lighting in here. I put this one up there. And on the other side will be a waiting area. We have tables and clocks, some bookshelves, and the benches. The 
Let's get a plaque out of there, the wall is a bit empty. Now we can't forget some flowers, can't we? Alright, the large room is complete. In this room will be a refreshment area for all the travelers. We we'll have the bar counter. Let's knock it back a block. Hang shelves above the counter. And we're gonna need a bar seat. Here we go. Almost forgot to light the room here. Some decorations on the shelves. As well as on the counter. And we have all the kitchen appliances behind here. And some storage. I'll be adding some mix in here as well. My goodness, that's perfect. And let's have some more seats and table near the wall here. Break out the floor texture with some trapdoors. And the stairs on the entrance. Alright, that is all the interior finished. Now let's go out and finish the platform. I'll break a bit of the roof edges here so we can make a canopy. I have a strip the burge out the same length as the platform. I need some frame to make it look a bit supported. And then fill in the gap with the birch laps. And I will just have to cover all of the tile with the spruce trap doors. And the birch trap door on all of the sides. For the pole, we'll be using a viridium pillars and walls. Have a burst trap door underneath the edges as well. And the lamps. That doesn't look right. I'll have another lamp out here then. Right, now onto the outdoor platform. We'll be having a lamp post surrounded by planters. Closed off the dirt with the cast iron trap doors. We we'll have some flower pots near the lanterns.
I want to have a set of dining table on the outside. And I'll be using a red seat. And the rest will be the benches. And I'll be adding some backrest. And I'll make a stair at the end here as well. Let's make it a 3 plus wide. And that is all the platform layout. Now we will duplicate it on the other side. And be sure to add in some flowers. Oh, and don't forget to place the benches here. Let's place the lectern right here at this pole. Now for some more decorations, I'll place a storage cluster along the platform on the outside. Now let's make the same platform the opposite track. Now we're gonna do a crossing bridge so it clears some space. We'll place a metal girder after 7 blocks. And another one apart. We'll make the same frame on this side. Then we'll place the cast iron cap walls above the girders. I'll extend the two blocks out from the side. And in the railing to the corners. Then we have to make a stair up to the bridge. Let me try an eyeball on this. Blimey, I got a first try. Let me make a stair wider. And for the railing on the stairs, I'll be using a spruce trap doors. Extend the girder out a bit. Right, and I'll start making a support for the roof. Extend the girder out, then make a pole up to 3 blocks. Place the spruce slabs on the top. Then we'll have a cast iron on the upper block. And the spruce trap doors for the overhang. Some lighting on the bridge. And 
below the bridge. Alright, we're all done. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, consider like and subscribe. And if you are interested in getting the station and all my other builds, be sure to check out my Patreon down in the description below. And I would like to thank you all my patrons for the support you've given. I am gladly appreciated. Have a nice day to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.